Hi, it's Jason again from Fraser Valley Rose Farm. I wanted to show you today one of my favorite old garden roses here. This is a centifolia named Robert Le Diable, if I have the name at all, the pronunciation at all right. Um, one thing I want to show you is the exceptional color on this. It's a, sort of a, a really deep purple. It comes out a little bit redder than this or pinker than this. Then it deepens to this purple and fades through these mauve shades. Um, there are a number of old garden roses that do the same thing and I thought I might show you a couple of those at the same time. So follow me this way. Okay, this one here is Cardinal Richelieu, all these wonderful French names. And what distinguishes this one from uh, Robert is that it has these smooth canes and uh, beautiful flowers. Um, similar in size, maybe a shade lighter than, uh, than the other one I just showed you. Um, but again, a lax shrub uh, with these smooth canes on it. Okay, this little shrub over here is Charles de Mills. And you can see it has a beautiful quartered bloom form there. Lots of petals packed into that rosette there. Uh, gorgeous and wonderfully scented. And without traveling around the whole garden here, I thought I'd show you two more that have these wonderful purple shades in them. This one here is Tuscany Superb, and uh, it's a little more open, but still lots of petals in there. You usually see the stamens in the center, and smaller still, and very wide open, is La Belle Sultane. So uh, most of these, or three of them anyway, are Gallicas. The uh, Centifolia was Robert Le Diable. And the other one I showed you, Cardinal Richelieu, is a China Damask. So uh, five really exceptional purple roses. You're only going to see really around this time of year, uh, early blooming, once blooming, and then they go to set fruit and, uh, and hips and they're done for the season. And thank you again for watching.